Pas isso que eu me fez lá aí. Ok, I'm gonna try and avoid that. So this video is a bit different to anything I've uploaded so far. Sorry if my light keeps flickering, don't know what's going on with that. But basically this is just a video that I'm just going to talk you kind of through a timeline of my 2020. I am going to put out there like, it has been a really hard year, I'm not going to downplay it. it has been a really difficult year, well obviously for everyone, but it just so happens that this was kind of supposed to be the most important year of my life to date. It just so happens that the world had different plans, but obviously as most people will know I should have graduated this year. Well, it, graduated kind of and um, haven't actually had the ceremony or anything yet obviously but I graduated this year after five years of professional training in musical theatre and the industry's collapsed <laughs> to put it bluntly there's not much going on and um, there's a few things here and there but new graduates are kind of stuck in this rut yeah I'm not going to get into it too much because I want this video to be really positive because I have been sitting trying to pull out the positives of 2020 and there's been a lot. But I am going to speak about the effects of everything this year and what it's done to my career and my career basically up till now. So keep your eyes peeled for that video because it will be coming really soon because I have had so many like musical theatre questions and people asking about that. So obviously there's like an interest in a lot of people so I will be doing that and posting it soon. But well, I'm gonna get into it. Um, basically what I've done, I went through my camera roll and I basically went through the months and took a few pictures from each month and, and uploaded it onto my laptop. I'm just gonna flick through um, and can I tell you a bit about what was happening, what obviously the picture is. And as I'm saying it, God, this is gonna take a while to edit. I'll put it up on the screen as well. Oh, why have I done this? I could have just spoke to you, but I feel like it would be really boring. It wouldn't be, you wouldn't get much from it. So I thought we'd just go through everything. Um, like I said, I know this has been a really, really hard year. So I am just trying to take the positives out of it. I'm not trying to be like, 2020 has been good. But I have just managed to find a lot of positives in it for me personally in my life. So there's a good few months at the start and then I'll tell you a bit about my lockdown and all of that kind of stuff. Just because I'm interested in what other people have been doing. So I'm just... This will be interesting to watch back when I'm 40, <laughs> do you know? So I'm going to start it off with, this was me on New Year's Eve, living my best life, not knowing what 2020 had in store. Yeah, we were going to Ben's uncle and auntie's party, a party, I know. Yeah, and that was, what was I drinking? I think vodka and like vodka diluting juice and water I started 2020 off weird <laughs> but yeah so I was super excited also you cannot even compare to how I look now to how I look in this picture one my hair is lighter longer two I actually have decent makeup on it's been a while since that's happened this is a mixture of concealer bronzer and a little bit of lip gloss just because you know lip gloss is my go-to but we're gonna move on from that because I literally just put it on to film this and then it'll be coming straight back off but yeah and this is a video <laughs> That's a video of Ben's granddad dancing. Um, I hope he's alright when we put that in. But yeah, so it was just a night of dancing and laughs and drinks and obviously whatnot. So a good night. Um, but actual New Year's Day, Ben and I pretty much just chilled in the flat and had one for just the two of us. We were meant to be going out for dinner with his mum and her partner and Ben's little brother, but everyone was feeling a bit worse for wear. As you can see in this picture, Ben does not look okay. So yeah, we pretty much just stayed in the flat and watched movies and I think we had a Chinese. So what more could you ask for? Pretty much straight into the first week in January, me and my best friend were all dotted all over the place, but at the time, um, me and Izzy were both in London and Caitlin and I were still back home. Izzy was desperate to come to Scotland, so we kind of made it happen. Um, I'm so embarrassed putting this picture in because my eyebrows, I can't even get started on them. This is what I mean by I hate drawing on eyebrows now, I can't stand it. 
this was us on the worst train journey I've ever been on in my life because Izzy spewed and got the worst travel sickness ever and it was just not ideal but we got there and what happened? Basically, we got there and obviously I stayed at my house for the first night because obviously I couldn't go home and not see my mum and my family. So I went home and basically the next day, um, me, Izzy, Caitlin, Isla, Isla's mum and my mum were all meant to be going into Edinburgh, but Isla's mum had to work. So basically my mum just came along with the girls were adamant she was still to come. So she left us for a little while and had a few drinks and she bought everyone lunch, which was so late. Um, this is when we got slug and lettuce and we got the tree and we were all absolutely buzzing it was stunning and you can't fault a porn star martini so these are just some more pictures of the girls and i in edinburgh oh it just makes me miss like well this is going to be quite difficult i think going through these pictures and on our first night out of 2020 remember a night out these are some pictures of me all dolled up oh my gosh i forgot what i look like with eyelashes on and they were big, they were like spiders. I would never wear ones that big again. Right back to college. So next picture, this is my first trip back into college. And this was my first day after college. Ben came and met me with some flowers, which I thought was so lovely. So I had to add it in. And then basically we got started on our third year show. And I'm not gonna speak too much about this because obviously this is all gonna be in the musical theater stuff. But yeah, then we got the cast list and I was lucky enough to be cast as one of the brides. Um, obviously it's called Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, I was one of the brides. Um, you can see in this picture I'm the second one down, Dorcas. Oh, it makes me so emotional. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realise I sent myself this. Um, basically at this point, um, at college I got a really, really bad chest infection. It happened around February and basically this video I can't believe I'm out myself like this but it was funny at the time um, I basically was in a jazz class and passed out after it my breathing was horrific I had tied my hair so tight like it was slipped back so so tight that I couldn't get it out and it was physically hurting me to get it out so this is when I'd kind of woken up I'd had some food I'd had enough to drink and this was the aftermath of me trying to get my ponytail out in the welfare office um, moving on to that, oh Valentine's Day, so Ben got me this mug um, for Valentine's Day so I was just having my morning coffee and I was like, it's a black mug, what is this? And then obviously as you can see, it started to change and he put such like old but cute pictures of us on it so yeah. Oh my gosh, that paintball picture, oh my gosh. Oh, a cheeky little vein boomerang of me going to college on Valentine's Day. I wore makeup to college on Valentine's Day um, because I knew I was having a chill night that night with Ben. So when we got home, that's when we actually did the prep. And then this was on the next day. We were going out for a lovely meal, which was so, so, so nice. Um, we literally had the best night. Um, you'll notice in these pictures, a lot of these pictures Ben actually isn't in. Um, he hates pictures so yeah this was the 24th of february so this was around showcase so showcase is like what you do at your end of your three years or however many years of training um for a bunch of agents and we were doing a west end stage one so obviously it was in the west end it was on a west end stage and loads of agents came um but at this point anyone who seen me or seen my journey during showcase will remember I was incredibly, incredibly ill, crying every single day pretty much because I couldn't sing. I had a solo um, and I couldn't sing it because, which I kick myself to this day that I didn't pick a song that was just, you know, but um, I couldn't sing so I was having meltdowns every single day. I could barely get my words out because I was doing an acting duologue so it was just not a great time. Um, this picture is at like three in the morning, two, three in the morning. I'd obviously tanned, as you can see, ignore the mess of that flat. You can kind of, can you see what I mean about? So basically this is somewhere else, but it looks like this room. So that's the same couch, the same clock, the rest is different, but it looks so similar. 
um because basically i've just moved our old flat living room into this little room um but basically this is when i had a breakthrough at like three in the morning because i, I hated everything about my journey to showcase because of how unwell i was i was hating everything so i bought this white dress that i got so many compliments on everyone was so so lovely um but I just decided at a random time in the morning I didn't like it anymore so I started trying on dresses I had and realised I still had this one that I wore to my cousin's wedding so at this point that is when I changed my dress um, like two nights before showcase so that's fun I'm sure that didn't stress any of them out this was me the morning of showcase with those horrific drawn in eyebrows no eyelashes, no lipstick I bet I looked fantastic on stage um, this was where our showcase was, so a little gift from my family, yeah again where it was um, and showcase was literally over so fast like so much stress for such a little thing but it was really successful obviously I'll speak more about that in my musical theatre video but yeah I actually looking back on it now it was the most insane experience we literally had a musical oh, we literally had a West End stage with an audience singing to a room full of even though there were agents like it's still a room full of people who love theatre so yeah dream come true i suppose and then basically straight back into college to work on our musical this is one of like our last pictures which makes me so emotional but everyone will know this was the most emotional day um which we didn't realize was one of our last days one of my actual last days was trying on this costume and um, which was for seven brides but obviously I don't have any pictures in it because I thought I would have got pictures at the show but that didn't happen and I'm not going to talk too much about that because I'll cry um, and another costume basically I got into the singing company the first ever Italia Conte singing company so it's basically we represented like the singing department of Conte so any shows and stuff so for example Move It which obviously was cancelled like everything else this year um, this was I was cast as Jenna one of the Jennas um, and the waitress medley so this was my dress and it's still in my wardrobe my dress for Jenna and I absolutely loved it and I loved it with like the shoes and obviously we were gonna have the aprons and oh, it just makes me sad but stay tuned something comes back around about this a random boomerang of my last day at college I think which I don't know why I wore a red lip and I had a red top on was that an audition I don't remember but basically this is like the last thing I have of me going to college because the clip I have after this was the weekend that Ben left to go on a work trip and basically it was really weird the way that like our college started like deteriorating as in like people stopped coming in people started getting unwell um, but I don't think we actually realised at the time like the severity of it um, but basically we weren't too sure on what was happening we'd heard that move it was cancelled we'd heard well sorry we'd heard that move it was postponed we'd heard that a few schools had closed so we were in these rehearsals and we were like we have no idea what's happening like nobody knew nobody at the time knew that we were still going to be here in october with this going on so i don't think we ever really understood what was happening to the extent that it was um so i don't actually have anything of my last days because i don't know when my actual last day was because we kind of we had the show rehearsals and obviously we were still so hopeful the show was going on but everybody kind of knew if move it wasn't going ahead like no other shows were going to go ahead especially with our show being so like close contact like we were in every dance i was being lifted like we were being touched all the time so it just wouldn't have worked um under guidelines and stuff but basically the last day I actually remember was, it was like, okay, well, rehearsals are going ahead, but take it upon yourself to decide if you feel comfortable coming in. And that day so happened that my trains were all cancelled, so I didn't actually get the choice to go in or not. I couldn't go in. And then that evening at like 11 o'clock, we got an email from the college saying that we're closing for like two weeks. So I packed a suitcase for a week and Isla and I um, booked flights that night or the next day and we flew home like two days later but two days later I also had new headshots booked in so basically here's a picture here of me being in that same top and same red lipstick but basically and I was looking anyway that day I went and got my headshots done and then went straight to the airport whilst like wiping off my lipstick and obviously wore 
more clothes and um, like a jumper and stuff and then I think the next clip is me and I will yeah. sorry but that's just giving me the weirdest like remember not having to wear a mask in public places like is that not now the weirdest thing but yeah so that was we were just messing about on the flight really and that poor woman next to us had her earphones in um so yeah so and then obviously i was home and my mum and i were absolutely loving life i thought i was only home for two weeks i only packed for a week and to repeat those clothes for a week and um, it was also march so it wasn't warm in scotland i was basically just packed leggings and jumpers which comes in handy later not one bit um so this is me and my mum we went on the bikes she was absolutely loving life that's just a random picture of me um my mum and i started like really heavily like working out during um lockdown the first time and i lost so much weight. i think i lost just under no almost i almost lost two stone basically if i'd kept going out i would have just reached the two stone mark but as per usual gave that up because it became my birth well it became graduation it became my birthday and then was reunited with ben you know what it's like when you're with your boyfriend you're never gonna eat as healthily and um, but i was stretching i was doing i was living my best life basically and um, but yeah it ended quite soon because just didn't keep up with it but yeah i lost a lot of weight so that's why that little random picture there because you can see my abs <laughs> that came and went as fast as something fast so basically in the duration of the first lockdown i ended up being in scotland for 14 weeks which obviously was great fun with the amount of clothes that i had so don't get me wrong my bedroom and don't get me wrong i've I keep saying don't get me wrong i've tidied it out now and i've started putting it into clothes to give away to kids and stuff um, and obviously adults whoever fits the clothes and um, there's this facebook page i'm not going to get into it but basically there's a facebook page where you can give stuff away to those who need it so i've done that with my clothes now but obviously there were clothes that one didn't fit me anymore or two i hadn't worn in like three years so i wasn't wearing them for a reason obviously so yeah um, so Ben and I had been away from each other for 14 weeks so this random day he facetimed me and he was like what are you doing and I was like nothing and then the door went and it was these gorgeous flowers which as you can tell by the pictures I was not expecting because I was literally in my brother's jumper and my hair hadn't been washed and I was not prepared to take it my mum caught really cute pictures and it was just so lovely we watched a few movies to begin with over zoom and then we ended up doing a marvel marathon so that was cool and then obviously this is where it kind of gets like jumbled like it was all very random i was doing loads of quiz nights with the girls um and then this is when i kind of stopped working out um the sun came out and was sunbathing with a drink almost every day it's when the 5k for whatever charity you wanted came about so i did my 5k in 34 minutes which i didn't think was that bad but my brother and ben both bet me but they like running. I have assets that make running difficult. I donated to the Beats in Cancer charity and they also had their own COVID fund as well. So I donated to them. But as you can see, I pretty much ruined those leggings because I ran at like a football pitch um, and all around this sports centre. So I ruined my leggings. Um, oh, and then Jake had his birth. I had to do all my last like college classes and all of that over Zoom. So that was interesting. Um, another cheeky workout boomerang loving it then ben and i did a quiz one night oh look at him so he shaved his head like most did during covid so that was interesting and then i signed with an agent which was so random um i'd obviously oh, i keep saying i'm not going to speak too much about it but i'd had a few meetings prior to covid prior you know what i mean and um, before everything kind of got shut down so after my showcase i was taking out for coffees um, and then I continued like a few phone calls and a few Zoom call meetings um, and stuff like that and eventually signed. So these were flowers and Prosecco from my like two best friends from home as well, um, which was so lovely. And then I am ashamed to say I got addicted to TikTok. And I'll be honest, I think this happened because I'm smiling so much that my actual jaw is hurting. Um, 
I'll be honest, I think I really got addicted because because I'd lost loads of weight and I was watching myself back. Um, don't get me wrong, all these TikToks are in private, which I had an idea to do like exposing my private TikTok. So if that's something you'd want to see, let me know, like, like the video, all that kind of stuff. Um, but oh my gosh, my cheeks. Give me a second. I can't believe how sore my cheeks are just from smiling. Um, so because I lost a bit of weight, I was like living for TikTok because I was like not hating it back, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna watch one. But you had a drastic, you were full with it, not only you full with it. And the way you motion. Oh, that face at the end. Right, I'm gonna watch it again just so I can judge myself again. But you had a drastic, you were full with it, not only you full with it. And the way you motion. For a start, my hair needs washed. Second, I'm wearing no makeup and you can see like I had a nice big spot up there. Um, random TikTok. I'm gonna apologize for the clothing because as I said, didn't have stuff with me, but that was just such a fun TikTok. But seeing how small my legs are there actually depresses me, which the next photo is gonna depress me even more. But this is when I'd hit my, I think it was like one and a half stone or something. Um, I'd lost so that was what that little picture was which was a bit cheeky um, the next one was oh this was a good day this is how me and Cameron walked I actually have the picture we walked um, 19,500 steps um, and it was 8.36 is that miles so we went on a three hour walk basically and um, this is when we was really into like long walks and there was nothing else to do so why not so that was really fun um, and then me and my mum went on one a few days later and um, she took some random pictures of me. That one's not pleasant. And I got my picture there for some reason. And that day we only walked 10,265 and we only walked for an hour and a half. But you know, walking is so good for you and I miss it so much. Like I miss being places that you can walk. Basically what I'm saying is now that we're in like a house and estate, um, in Falkirk like I could literally walk anywhere and it was like grass or there was a park to walk to or somewhere to go to but it's here you would just be walking around house and estates and walking back pretty much and then yeah me and Ben were still doing our marathon our Marvel marathon this is when I finished my directors um, directors is like your last kind of exam supposedly like assessment um, for third year so obviously this was celebrating with some alcohol and I was also absolutely buzzing because I fit into this play suit <laughs> that I hadn't worn and I'd also chopped all my hair off if you can't tell. Um, I know you probably won't know any different but my hair was a bit longer beforehand and this was a barbecue, oh, this is when me and my family had a barbecue and um, that was so lovely, I loved that day. This was actually my mum's old top from like years and years and years ago. Um, and I decided to wear it as a dress. I think I put shorts underneath. I hope I put shorts underneath. Um, but obviously we were just going for my family barbecue. And then we had a few days out. This is when we then couldn't see family again. So um, obviously my mum and dad aren't in the same household. So these were just some pictures of some days out that we had um, socially distanced and stuff. Um, the next thing that happened was really exciting, so as I said, we're doing Conti Company at Move It and obviously that got cancelled. We had a like Zoom night scheduled with the teacher of Conti Company, Dan. So I wrote in the chat basically just saying, guys, should we just record it just to show him? And I didn't realise like how many people would be up for it and how big we were actually going to do it. But if you want to check it out, I'll put a screenshot of it here. It's on my IGTV on my Instagram, which I'll put up here. Um, it's just Conti Company 2020 Move It and I called it One Company, Two Cast, Three Cancelled Performances which I thought was quite clever but basically you'll see like everyone singing together so you'll see me singing with a lovely, lovely talented girl called Georgia um, she was the other cast so she was my other Jenna um, just in case you're like what's going on <laughs> so that's that and then eventually after 14 weeks I was allowed to come back down so I came back to Essex to help Ben. Well, basically Ben and his dad and his family had already moved us out of our flat, um, which is a whole other story, basically flooded and we were having a really bad time with it all. Um, so he was back with his parents and I was 
obviously back home. Um, but we went back together to hand in the keys, so this was a really sad day. Um, but we were only back in Essex for like a week before we came back up to Scotland. So Ben drove us back up to Scotland for my graduation celebrations, which went on for a lifetime. So this is on my graduation day. Um, this is who I spent it with that full day, just the six of us. Um, because we had a graduation ceremony online, I had a little FaceTime with my best friends before like pre drinks and stuff. And like you got like intervals, so we would FaceTime like during the breaks and stuff. Um, but it was just so nice like to still be able to kind of do something. Um, because at this point, obviously, we still didn't know what was happening. My graduation celebration, when I say my favourite celebrations to this day of anything I've ever celebrated, because I celebrated it so much. I did so many different things and I saw so many different people. Um, so yeah, so then I celebrated also with two of my best friends, Jilly and Erin, um, because they also graduated this year, well, should have graduated this year, and both got first degree honours, so we were super proud. So yeah, we just had some drinks in the garden. And then, just to make it even bigger and better, my best friend from home also threw a party. They celebrated together with all our families. It was the best day, like, I couldn't have asked for a better day. I'll just play that video that just came on. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad it was right. that heavy one, not the other one where somebody's hat, I think Caitlin's hat, went up and came right back down and like smacked her in the nose and then it, her drink went over her and Isla drove. I can't remember, but basically it was a show, so I'm glad it was that video. Basically, we just had a really good night. It went on for like a while. Um, this is a picture of me, Caitlin and Isla with Caitlin and Isla's older sisters. Um, and I've not put it onto my laptop but I'll try and find it and insert it. I've got a picture with all the boys as well so like our boyfriends, brothers, they're all in the picture. The best celebrations I could have asked for. So much so that I don't even care about the actual graduation now because I'm like I had my grad like I will and truly have a graduation so I'm happy. I got to spend it with more people than I would have got to had it been in London anyway because my family obviously wouldn't have all been, up, been able to come. You get two tickets so I'm super happy. And obviously it was just so lovely. Um, and then Ben randomly decided to buy a car um, because he'd been looking at this Z4 for ages and obviously he got it cheaper in Scotland than in England. So he got that. And then basically this started all of our further adventures. Ben started joining in on the family walks and everything. So that was just when we went to Calder Park. Um, and then I've got some pictures of when we all went to Brackland Falls. It just makes me so emotional. I just had like the nicest summer. Cause that's the thing, like I obviously would never have gotten this time with my family had this all not happened. So I am so thankful in that respect. Like I got so much time with them and obviously Ben did too, cause he was furloughed on work. So we got to like show him loads of Scotland that he hadn't seen. It was just so lovely. And then Ben and I went out for our anniversary dinner and um, we actually went out on the 23rd so the day before my birthday and um, so we still didn't actually celebrate on a specific date and um, but we just decided to go out and celebrate as best we could you know and then it was my 21st birthday and um, which was bigger and better than ever and um, my mum truly went above and beyond with all of this this is what i woke up to in the morning it was the most amazing thing so Instagrammable. So here's my little Instagram picture. Um, and then, so that was in the morning, um, which then we had like, oh, look at that. We had like a full spread, but there was like hot food, but I just wanted everything. It was just insane. And I was drinking from like 9 a.m. Um, and then I got dressed up in the afternoon. So here's some pictures of that. And then obviously spent some time with my family as well all socially distanced in the garden because of their ages and stuff and some of them are quite vulnerable so we just kind of had like a socially distanced garden afternoon tea thing and then so my birthday was the friday and then my best friends arrived on this saturday i do have the cutest video of us all being reunited but it gives away it gives away where i live like ridiculously so i'm not going to insert it but 
my best friends came up from London so um, well actually two from London one from Liverpool and then obviously the other two girls were in Glasgow already and then all my friends from home and obviously from home so I'm just trying to sort this light because it's really bothering me um, so these are just some pictures from my actually my actual 21st like party so yeah so it was literally the best night and obviously the girls were in Scotland for the first time so that was so fun um, obviously Izzy had been before but Alice and Carly hadn't been so that was so nice um, the next day me and the girls went to Edinburgh so obviously Alice, Carly Izzy had been that once but um, Alice and Carly hadn't so we basically took them around to Edinburgh and just had such a nice day so then the girls left and then Ben and I started back on our adventures and stuff um, we went to the most insane castle and we like had a picnic and all of that jazz it was just such a good day um, and then I basically had like a one last night for my girls from home because Jilly was moving I was leaving again everyone was kind of going back to work like everything was a bit you know so we just kind of had one last night but we waited until we'd finished all the alcohol to get pictures for some reason so that's why they're a bit you know and then on our kind of last week um ben and i went to the safari park with my mum and my brother because my mum's obsessed so these are just some pictures from the safari park which are super cute and then this pizza is like the best pizza in the world obviously it's like mixed flavors and stuff but we got like this massive like 30 inch pizza for all our family um that night me and ben went out um sightseeing because at this point Cameron and mum had went back to work so it was kind of just Ben and I a lot um, and then I've obviously seen my dad and Joe when they were off work um, but yeah so these were just like a few random days out um, all on the lead up to this last night which was a horrible picture of when we went to the pub when obviously that was allowed and we did like a pub quiz Ben unfortunately was really unwell that night um, so didn't come because he was driving us back to Essex the next day so he couldn't afford to be unwell so it was just us um, but it was such a nice night and then just like that Ben and I came back to Essex and it was quite sad it was a sad day as you can probably see by the picture I look emotional as hell um, and this is what we came back to surprisingly we got all this in a Z4 like it's a lot of stuff it is a lot of stuff um, and this was the dressing room that I then managed to put together out of all that mess. So I was obviously quite proud of it, the fact that I took pictures. I mean, it's still messy. I don't know what I was taking pictures of, maybe just from my family. So then obviously I was kind of back in the swing of things with being in London and it was my best friend Carly's birthday. So these are just some pictures of us in London. So this was such a good weekend. We stayed at the Waldorf Astoria, I think it's called, um, in London in Covent Garden. Um, and obviously we went to the spa and then we spent the night slugging lettuce. It was just such a funny time. I sorted out this, which I'm still so, so proud of. I made like a big balloon arch thing um, from scratch, just literally with double-sided tape and balloons for Ben's birthday. And I completely decorated this little room and then I put stuff up on the walls. And then when Ben went to work, I put up some stuff on our bedroom wall and some presents and stuff on the bed and some balloons and stuck some of our Polaroid pictures and then these were the presents that I got him um, just some random like, little bits I know he'd wanted for a while and some stuff he actually needed and then this was us going out for Ben's birthday dinner with his family um, I think his friends all came over like the night before but obviously I don't have any like, pictures or anything sorry I'm sitting I've been sitting with my legs crossed for ages now and then oh the light's gone again then me Jake Holly and Ben all went to Top Golf to celebrate Ben's birthday again and um, so that was fun and then, oh. shots on I, it was my first time being at Top Golf um me and Holly in the bathroom being vain and then, like I said, celebrations went on forever. So during the week, I also took Ben to the Sky Bar in London and I booked us a lovely restaurant. It was the day that I also fell back in love with olive oil and balsamic vinegar with sourdough bread. Like I hadn't had it in so long. And then I had it at this restaurant and it was insane. 
and I completely forgot when I booked this restaurant um, I'd wrote on it that it was Ben's birthday and I completely forgot I did that because it's not usually like me to do that so then just as we asked for the bill she was like yeah I'll bring the bill over which was like look giving me eyes so I was like I don't really understand I said to Ben I was like they're not bringing this bill over this is really strange and then they brought this over and it was so lovely so they brought over this like brownie that we'd also at the start of the meal said oh my gosh the brownie sounds so good but we obviously were stuffed because we had starters as well as I mean um, and we just so happened to get this chocolate brownie to say happy birthday to Ben and he hates being centre of attention but he actually handled it really well because the restaurant wasn't that busy because it was like half four or five o'clock on like a Tuesday or something so most people were at work and um, but obviously it was Ben's day off in I booked, so I don't know if you can really see from the picture, but I booked us onto this pub, it's called Pub on the Thames. I think it's actually called Tatters Hall Castle if you want to book it, um, but like it's thing is that it's a pub on the Thames and it's literally just like this boat but obviously it doesn't move um, and it's just got like the best view, the best? <laughs> the best, <laughs> it's got the best view of the London Eye um, and obviously you're literally on the water so we had some drinks and we just sat and then because I know Ben as well as I do obviously after being with him for so long I knew the best way to finish the evening off without it well it was such a nice day it was such a classy day we've been at the sky bar had drinks went out for food like it being so classy sat on the boat and I thought right I know Ben better than anything this is all very adult so I finished the night off by taking him to the arcade um, which was actually looking back on it one of the best parts about the full day like we just had such a laugh and we got like the most stupid prizes and i just they still have one of them in this little room it's literally this little bear key ring we got like this we got loads of sweets it was just ridiculous so yeah it was just the best day and i was so so glad that we did it then we went shopping because I'd then at this point started my YouTube channel so I was like I need to go shopping I need to get some stuff like the haul because that was like one of my most requested stuff so we went shopping and then I started preparing for my first vlog which was we went pumpkin carve and I've got the funniest funniest picture of Holly from this um, day so I'll insert it she'll hate me for it but it was so so funny um, and then we came back, we carved the pumpkins as you will have seen if you watched that vlog. If you haven't, go and watch it. Um, and I made this insane cheese board and you can see my little Halloween um, strawberries, which is so funny. But like two days later, I left to go to Scotland for a few days. Um, I don't have much footage of me in Scotland. Most of the footage you'll see is on YouTube because I filmed a lot, like I filmed with my family. So if you haven't seen them videos, go and watch it. shopping. We went to like a few of my favourite places and then, which I didn't expect, we went like to normal shops and it ended up being so Christmassy. So we had a few like Christmassy days out because I won't be in Scotland for Christmas this year because Ben came to us for Christmas last year. I think we're doing Christmas in Essex this year. And we also had a lot, a lot of wine and cheese, which is why I'm now back on the healthy and because <laughs> God, it shows. Did a few more photo shoots in cute locations because I got new clothes and why not? And then pretty much I was back before I knew it. Um, I only got back, what day is it today? God, I did actually get back like a few days ago now, like four days, three days ago. Um, but I pretty much got back and straight into it. Ben and I had a meeting about something really, really exciting on Tuesday. So I'll insert a picture, but I don't think we actually got a decent picture because he was pure running about like mad because he couldn't find his nicer watch and you know what it's like. Um, so that's pretty much life up to now. I feel like I've rambled a lot and I'm sorry if this was of no interest to anyone but I've just enjoyed basically going through my 2020. I hope I've got some content out of this because I've been speaking for a while and my face is actually in so much pain. Um, and my throat is also, I haven't had water this full time, which is ridiculous. So I need to go and have a drink of water, but I really hope you've enjoyed seeing what I got up to during 2020. And um, let me know what you did. Um, I'd love to know what people like did during lockdown, how they're feeling now. I know things have kind of taken a turn for the worst again, but I genuinely think like seeing everyone come together is just the most amazing thing. 
um, seeing everyone supporting each other. There's so much we can do, so much more we should be doing. Um, but I'm gonna save that for another video because I kinda wanna get a bit more involved and I think I'm gonna um, show you how we can, potentially. I don't know, I don't really wanna be one of those people who like does good things and broadcasts it because then I feel like people take the wrong thing from it and think, are you doing that just to like put it on your channel or like put it on Instagram and do you know what I mean when it's actually not like that sometimes you're just doing it to show how easy it actually is to help other people um, so I might do it might not let me know if that's something that interests you but yeah like comment subscribe subscribe a lot of information and pictures this is also going to take me a while to video so I might need to think to video getting tired now this is also going to take me a while to edit so i might need to film another video whilst this takes me forever to edit so yeah i hope you have the best week or day or evening or whatever you're doing see you in the next video thanks